I'm hoping the kickoff of a journey that we're going to go on, and I'm hoping the journey is going to be a short journey. How can we get coding brought back into the classroom? Coding is a set of instructions that it gets to know what to do when certain inputs or outputs happen. We have the edge right now to drive this idea of helping our kids understand how to code, how to be creators, how to be innovators. Like working here is like living my dream because this is what I dreamed of. I joined a kick-ass cool tech startup company. I'm like the go-to guy for cell phones, computers, anything fixing. Um, and even teachers, if they're having problems with the website or something like that, they're always like, Pickles, come on over and fix this. It, a lot of people, like, they think it looks really complicated, but it's, I'd say it's about the same difficulty as like doing sciences or like doing a math major or anything like that. Once you get going, it's really fun. And you can do a lot of really awesome things. I knew how to write code and I was able to find a job within a week. Estonia, Bulgaria, Serbia, you will see that majority of people over there are taking the graduating from technical degrees because they see that as the easiest way into the better life. Estonia, we are a very small nation. Our economy is small. The, the only thing we can keep our economy going is to use our brains right. and with the help of, uh, of computers. There's a lot of people like my friends that are my sister's age that are going out to Oak West to work such as like uh, working on trucks or oil fields or something like that. If you look at the call center industry back in the 90s that created 25,000 new jobs and uh, though now that industry is shedding jobs. It's, it's losing a couple of thousand jobs every year. So where are those new jobs going to come from? Atlantic Canada just came to perform in the ICT sector on the same level as the rest of Canada we would actually have about $2 billion in our budget extra every year. By 2016 in Canada, there's going to be 106,000 jobs unfilled in the tech career in Canada. 106,000 jobs. Nobody to fill it. We need to invest in the future. We need to see beyond four years. We need to see that this can, is part of a bigger piece, a bigger solution for the Maritimes. When kids get to high school, we're, uh, it's too late. And I think in, in middle school and elementary school, we should be throwing everything at them. You can see them really understand the potential that comes from building with computers, not just using them. Mark Zuckerberg just bought a company for $16 billion because he could. He's a computer programmer. Software developers are fundamentally changing the world we're interacting with. We need to invest in this because this is what the world is going to be based on, technology. Ignoring that is just delaying the inevitable.